Hello, and I'm going to do a quick vlog on backpacks. Up to now, this has been my backpack, which is a, a Nike bag that I've had for quite a long time. The trouble is, all the stitching has started to come undone. See there, and I've got holes in it. So I've had to invest in a new backpack. So out with the old and my new backpack. Remove the box. There we go. It's a Salomon. And it's a Salomon Evasion and it's a 25 litre because I need a slightly bigger pack because when I go with my daughter I need to stick all her stuff in as well as my stuff pack weight of this is 429 grams it's one of the lightest backpacks for like day packs that you can get and the material is water resistant it's not fully waterproof um, but if you get caught in a shower it's going to keep your stuff dry but if you're out in a downpour it's probably going to soak through it's got all the, the whistles and stuff it's got uh, straps for your walking poles obviously another compression strap here for put your jacket or something else in there you've got the net pockets for keeping your water in but if you prefer to have a bladder it's got a bladder section inside as well. The bladder section goes in there. And you pull this out here to put the tube through if you want to do it. Personally, I'm not a keen lover of bladders, but I know some people are. You've got, other than the bladder part, you've got another front section here to keep things separate. You keep things in here as well as the main pack. On the top, You've got another little pocket for your keys and stuff. It comes with a clip. You can clip your car keys on there. Andy Wardle. Good, good hint. And uh, that's about it, really. I'm quite happy with it. It was a little pricey, but considering the amount of uh, walks and hiking I do recently, it's a good investment, I think. Um, came in at £51 I think I got on a special offer normally it retails anywhere between 54 and 70 something I think but uh, I switched my broadband and by switching my broadband I got uh, £40 cash back so I went to buy in this basically plus I saved £10 a month on my broadband so quite a good uh, deal switching that get a, a backpack out of it so I'll be switching my stuff into here and I thought I'll show you what I usually keep in my backpack while I'm at it so I usually keep a freezer bag I usually put my wallet and keys in normally and mobile phone and that keeps it dry in case it rains and what else do I usually keep in the front thing I have a compass um, this compass is a uh, what is it? A uh, Sunto compass. Um, I've got the other well-known brand as well, but personally, I prefer this one. Uh, emergency whistle. Um, a spare strap, like a belt. Um, an emergency bracelet which has got some paracord on it it's got a flint and knife stop fires pen knife never had to use this ever that's just dead weight I might actually take this out of my pocket so that's what I keep in the front pocket and then in the main section Uh, actually, that's, I don't normally keep this in. I had this for the cave. 
I do keep a torch, but not that big. The rest I keep in a carrier bag. Keeps it dry. Cheaper than a dry bag. Um, big kitchen towel. Always comes in handy. Some hand sanitizer. Wherever I get my hands dirty. Some tissues. Uh, emergency shelter. Um, this one is for two people because if I'm out with my daughter, I need something a little bit bigger. There's a, a smaller torch that I keep. I used to keep a head torch, but um, I find that walking with a head torch is not very good because you've got to keep your head down all the time to see where you're going, and I like to see where I'm going. So I found uh, a hand torch. You can direct the beam where you want it without having to move your head. And my first aid kit, which is quite big, you think. And it is. <laughs> but I keep quite a bit in here actually. I keep a, a space blanket. Um, that's my uh, insect repellent. It's a uh, clear hair plus. And this is very good for flies. Um, it stops midges biting, but it doesn't stop midges hassling you. They'll, they'll still buzz around you, but uh, they won't bite you. Um, I keep a knee brace because I've got bad knees. What else? Um, Imodium, diarrhea relief, just in case. Electrolyte tablets, a lighter, paracetamol, some cleansing wipes, blister, plasters. Some more blister plasters, a little bit of like, uh, I don't know what you call that. Basically for blisters. Um, safety pins. Some more blister pa plasters. Well, to be honest, I've got good boots, so I don't really get blisters much, but you never know. Uh, another knee bandage. This is like a tubular bandage you can put on your arm as well. Um, very useful. Also for ankles as well, if you get a sprained ankle, it's good. Bit of tape. And some final gloves in there as well. And that's it. I actually thought I had more in there. <laughs> I thought I had a tick removal tool in here, but I must have moved it to my other um, first aid kit that I don't take with me on my hikes. So that's what I take, that's what's in my bag, and then sometimes obviously I'll take a, a fleece maybe or waterproofs depending on what the weather's going to be, but that's it. So I'm very happy with my uh, new bag, my new backpack. I'll, uh, I'll put a link below and it will be an affiliation link so if you use that link to buy it I'll, I'll get something from it because um, at the moment I'm busy saving up to do the Pennine Way and uh, every little bit helps at the moment but that's it so I'll uh, catch you on the next one tomorrow I'm going on to uh, do some more of the Weirdale Way so there will be a video for that soon so catch you on the next one thank you